Hello folks, welcome to South Healy Farm, specifically welcome to the Ford on South Healy Farm. This is one of the main farmyards on my map, the Northern Farms, which will be coming soon, hopefully, to all platforms. Today we're going to have a look around this, this yard only, we're going to break it up and do one in each video really. And today we're going to go and have a look at South Healy. Now this is one of the two that I was considering to be the main yard. Uh, but we're going to go and have a look, see what's up around there, see what's, uh, what features there are and what you can get stuck on into. And as we come over the cattle grid there, uh, I'm going to come up into here, like I say, have a look around some of the fields, have a look around the buildings there and look at the, the livestock features here and see, you know, what takes your fancy with it really. And then describe why a few things have been done. Now it's been built as lifelike as possible. However, there are certain things that have to be added in for the, the gameplay um, features really. So we'll cross those. Uh, but yeah, everything around here is all definitely lifelike. You've got your farm work cottages there. Uh, and then we're going to come and park up right on over here. There might be some more small bits of detail being added in, but for the most part, I'm quite happy uh, with how this yard's looking. Uh, so yeah, we might see a few little bits and pieces added on in when we can. This is going to be looking due north over towards small town of Rothbury over way over there. Uh, and yeah, so this is what we've got around here. As we look around this uh, little area here to start with, a bit of a stack yard. Uh, tracks going into the fields along the side there. We might actually come to this very shortly because I want to have a look at something there as a public footpath. Um, and then, yeah, track going up to the field, which is on the other side there as well. This is the, va the map boundary on one side. Who knows where that might go one day? You never know. Uh, yeah, a bit of a stack yard there. Some trailers and some, some equipment. The farmhouse. I haven't built any farmhouses to be uh, interactive in any way. So that is just a house, really. Um, for me... Whilst it's great and impressive, the likes of Oxy can do that. Uh, I just don't uh, personally have the ability or also really value it in my maps. I don't spend any time in them. Uh, all right, buddy, come on into the workshop. And this is uh, quite a large fabricating table here and a workshop set there. So you can get, get on with anything, really. Uh, plenty of space still to store things in here. If you really wanted to and you're running out of room elsewhere for all your kit, you can stick it into here as well. And pallets uh, 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 space as well. So you can... You have a small enough uh, loader to get in. I don't because I've got this telehandle here. But if you do, you can get on in. Diesel tanks tucked around the side here as well. And you can actually still get into... I think you have to come around this side first to fill it up. And then once it's full, then you'll be able to come over here and use that as you would normally. So that is very nice. This is your livestock yard for here. This is your cattle shed. Uh, this is, they've currently got some Angus beef cattle in here. Uh, they're just feeding up and you'll see there's a bit of a space down there which is you can store things in if you can if you really want to try to find little unique areas to store things in that may well get detailed out there at some stage though um and we'll see where that goes but yeah just a very straightforward cattle shed here there are lights inside this all the lights on this yard are uh automatic i'm toying with the idea of changing that at some stage we'll we'll see uh i think honestly we'll we'll see what that looks like and see um, maybe for a later update, but we will look to get manual lights on here at some stage or another. This is your milk tank. Uh, if you do choose to do um, a dairy herd here, a small dairy herd, there is a tank here that you can collect from. Uh, so you got that all in there. That's all taken care of. Again, more space to store things. Uh, I will be keeping mineral feeding here, for example, for part of the TMR. We'll get that big old heavy door shut. Uh, and then, yeah, like I say, you'll find you can come around here and access all of your animal sell points here. Uh, so you can click onto there and there you're in and you're good to go and buy and sell whatever you would like to. Nice and easy. Slurry uh, is collected through this little tap here on the uh, trigger is at this point here. So you can come in and access to that. Still figuring out what I'm going to do for the uh, muck spawn. Might just stick that inside the shed for the true realism. But as you can see, there's quite a little bit of a narrow door. So you got to be careful with what you get in there. And again, small uh or, or low machines to get inside there as well will be uh preferential that is for sure coming over here this is the big lamin shed um many many of you have been in here before uh yeah so this is uh, a nice large shed there's uh lamin pens still left up there uh and then we're gonna come out here huge big sheep field and pasture for them all to work in and run around out here uh which is pretty nice goes kind of all the way around the side here as well and uh, now the other half of this field because this field actually loops around you can see public footpath guy over there still uh that is uh it does not have a spline on so you can mow that side down if you really want uh pallets will be spawning in and around here which is always good to know and then over there you've got a nice big uh, handling pens really uh, so you can bring your livestock into here and 
and handle them out, split them out, separate them, and, and load them back up as well, should you really need to. But that is where you'll do that. Uh, and then, yeah, so that is a, a huge silage clamp. Uh, this is something that was added in for gameplay features. Uh, it is not here, or was not here in real life. It was actually a little bit of an old derelict shed here. Um, and kind of a bit run down there. But yeah, that's not there. But again, I wanted uh, I wanted someone to be able to have all the features we need. And it doesn't look too out of place. Um, kind of made it look a bit chunkier and a bit more old-fashioned in terms of its style. So uh, I, yeah, I'm not, not too concerned about that. A little bit of a stack yard here. Uh, so we've got a few bits of equipment knocking around there. That is um, nice to have. And I believe that is your water trigger there as well. Uh, every farm should have one. Uh, and then into a long, narrow building here, which you can get a tractor into easily. Uh, and I've got a few bits of equipment tucked out of the way and out of the elements in there as well. Uh, that's one of our main workhorses on the farm here. That's the 3120 Massey with a Cavernal and 4 for a plow on the back of it as well. Uh, not too shabby. Uh, and then, yeah, patchy old sheds, uh, a bit of knackered tin here and there. But, you know, it really adds to the aesthetics of it all, I would say. And to be honest, that is this yard in a nutshell. Cattle grid here as well. Uh, and then, you know, a bit of a knackered fence, which could do with some TLC just to get it all up right. Uh, and that is pretty much everything you're looking at right about here. So the main farm itself is pretty straightforward, but I also like to try and build in a little bit of detail in and around about. We have uh, taken a little bit of time to look over some of the, the other detail of late when we did a, a drive cross country over the tracks. And those tracks are plenty uh, and they give you lots of access all around. Uh, so what we are going to do, though, is going to zip back around here and get into our all road vehicle. Which is handily left there. Wonderful. And back we go. And to show you a few little bit of details around and about in the neighborhood, uh, really, some of the smaller yards that are um, nearby, really. Uh, so we'll just zip down through here. This is a little uh, a little track into a silage field, really. So like I say, you can use this bit for silage. Uh, and that bit over there is obviously for sheep. There's our footpath people. Hello to you. Uh, an old shed here. You don't have access to this shed. This is purely just a detailed perspective, really. Uh, not much you can do with this one, but you'd have to mow around it. Um, not really done much there for quite some time. But anyway, like I say, it's nice to have. And over here is... They're your neighbours. This is a little homestead. A uh, few options here. This field comes with this homestead, and it gives you an option just to buy it and have a little bit of uh, land to work with. Uh, and you know, if you want to do any kind of survival work or anything like that, you have the perfect starting point to do so. Small house, a couple of small sheds, uh, to get you going there nice and easily. Uh, but we're going to join the footpath people, because we're going to just jump on over here. He says, over here. There you go. Over the little bridge. Run away from the deer. Run daisies. Uh, and then you'll see right out here, the footpath goes over that way uh, and continues right the way through the map under that balloon really and keeps them going all the way that way. But here again, you have another little cattle yard. Now, this layout yard is a little bit separate to everything else, as you can well see. But if you want to have a, a little bit more space to work with, or perhaps you want to start with just a cattle yard, and a few bits of machinery kept outside, then this would be great for you too. Uh, once again, you can quite easily come on over to, actually the wrong side, to the pens over here made with uh, railway sleepers and car um like road barriers really uh and then what you'll need to do is just come on inside to here we're gonna buy the farmland because of course we don't own that yet uh so this is the big block we need to uh this one here is the one we need to buy a bargain at thirty-three thousand. so for thirty-three thousand, you get this and that field there so that should give you a good starting point uh, and then we just want to find our trigger there you go and stick a couple of coups in there and there you all are. Happy, if not slightly hungry. Again, a little bit of everything here. Water tanks in the background there too. So you can get them all filled up nice and easily. Uh, and try to make this one just a little bit different, a little bit unique there. And gives you some reason to want to come across the uh, the map. Maybe you've got one of the different farms there. But you can come on cross country to come to this little, uh, little yard. And get yourself going there as well. Uh, which is pretty neat to see. Um, there'll always be a little bit of details added here and there. And things I see that I want to get back to. But ultimately... Uh, you know, we're on to a good starting point. 
Uh, and that is just over the road from South City Farm. And realistically, that is everything you need to see and everything you need to know about the farm so you can get going there. Do let me know what you think. Uh, we'll be bringing you videos with updates from every single area uh, as we go through. We'll be looking into what that looks like for uh, both the main arable yard and the other starter yard. Uh, so I uh, hope you look forward to seeing those. Do leave any questions, comments or feedback you have down below and I will get back to those as always. South Sealy Farm, though, is the first farm we're looking at, and we'll be bringing you lots more very shortly. So, I hope you have enjoyed. Do stay safe. Enjoy what you're doing. My name's been Simulation for the Nation. This has been a look around one of the farms on the northern farms, which should be coming very shortly. And if you want to see more, do stay close to all social media and to YouTube so we can bring you that as much as possible. Till next time, do stay safe. Enjoy what you're doing as always, and we'll see you in the next one.